Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we'll be discussing some new words which you can add in your vocabulary and use it in your day-to-day -day communication. I'll be telling you the meaning of those words and some examples of the sentences and you can also make some sentences in the comments below. Before starting the video, if you are new to this channel, then subscribe to my channel for more such English tips. And if you are someone who wants to learn English right from the basic, then you can check out my complete basic English course on my website www.studywithjustme.com. Now before wasting any more time, let's get into the video. So number one word for the day is disseminate. Disseminate. It means to transfer or give knowledge to someone. So what I am doing is right now, I am disseminating my knowledge to all of you. It can be the transfer of information, transfer of knowledge, things like that. In simple words, if I say disseminate means to give information or knowledge to others. For example, the teacher disseminates about global warming in the class. I am disseminating my English knowledge to all of you. So see how easy it is to use this word in your day-to-day -day communication. So start using this word. Number two, it's not just one word, but three words that I'll be telling you, which you can use interchangeably. And all these words mean the same. So the three words are acquire, garner, or flourish. Acquire, garner, flourish. All these words mean the same. Now the meaning of the words are obtain knowledge and information from others. So it is the opposite of disseminate. So if the teacher is disseminating about global warming in the class, the students are acquiring the knowledge about global warming. The other example could be, I like to garner information about animals. So moving on to the third word, which is panic and flare. Panic and flare means to have a command. For example, I am sorry, I am beyond panic and flare on English language. It means I don't have a good command over English language. Number four, candid. It means frank. For example, I like candid kind of people. What is your candid opinion about me? It means what is your frank opinion about me? What do you think about me? Like frankly tell me. Don't hesitate. You can say this to someone when you want that other person to give you the honest feedback and be open to whatever he or she has on her mind. Number five, jet set. A person who is rich and fashionable and travels a lot. For example, I like a bit jet set kind of a people. Or we can say he has a billionaire jet setting girlfriend. Number six, foot the bills. It means to pay off the bills. For example, she always foot my bills. I like putting my bills myself. Number seven, on the whole. It means as a conclusion or all in all. So you may be telling someone a story and in the end you want to say something like on the whole I adore her or something like that. So on the whole, kul milakar baat ye hai. So this is what you can say. Now here comes the next word, adore. What is a doll? A doll means loving someone so much. Saying I love my mother is something which is okay, I love her. But if I say I adore her, it means it is beyond that love. Number nine, traits, qualities or features or characteristics. For example, tell me some traits about your bosom friend. Now here comes the tenth word, bosom friend. What do we mean by bosom friend? Bosom friend means best friend. For example, Sita and Gita are awesome friends. So these are the words that I have learned myself. So here's the diary which I have maintained for writing all the vocabulary words that I've learned. So what happens is I listen to a lot of English speakers and I observe the way they speak. And if I found some word that they spoke and I don't know the meaning of that word, I immediately take my phone and I search it on Google and write it down on this diary. and. After some time, I keep on revising those words. I do an in-depth research about these words and I make so many sentences so that I never forget these words. So these are some of the tips that you can also try to improve your vocabulary. So that is all for today's video. I hope you like this video and these words will be helpful for you. Now here's a little thing for you. It's very easy to watch these kind of videos and learn words, but it is very difficult to keep them in your vocabulary and start using them. So start using these words. You have learned only 10 words today in this video. If you want more such videos, I'll create those. Just let me know in the comments below. I'll create more videos. Again, 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 I'm telling you, start using these words in your day-to-day -day communication. The more you use these words, the more habitual you get by using these words and these will become a part of your vocabulary. You don't have to 
then check out your diary there in my diary there are so many words but i don't remember all of them why because i'm not using all of them i use certain words which which i feel like using and if i do not use i forget if i use those words these are in my vocabulary i don't even need to check my own diary for that don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more such videos see you in the next video till then bye bye take care